Hi there, and welcome. My name is Rusty Humphreys, and this is the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion. We are powered by the nice folks at Right Wing News. And the question is, are you there? Are you watching? Have you checked in yet? Let me know who you are and where you are deplorable from. All right? I want to say hi to you. All right, the question that's out there already is, is Trump toast? That's what the left wants you to think. I want to know what you think. Check in right now. Let me know who you are, where you're deplorable from. I want to say hi to you. We got a lot to do today. And let's get it started. Hi there. Again, we are brought to you by Right Wing News. You can see us on uh, Liberty One TV as well as a number of great Facebook pages uh, should this format uh, continue to stay around. Uh, I and, and by the way, we don't know. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Okay, let's start off with the Zuckerberg thing and then let's get to is Trump toast. And I want to know who you are. We're going to check in with you in just a second. Who you are, where you're from. Uh, I've been gone a little bit. I'm working on a documentary about corruption overseas and I'm doing principal photography right now. So it takes a little bit of time. So I'm going to be in and out, but I I do want to let you know that you're important and I want, I'll I'll be there as often as I can, but for the next few weeks, it's going to be a little bit crazy. Okay. Zuckerberg. Let's just start there. Congress is being zucked. The Senate's being zucked. The house is being zucked and you're being zucked. What do I mean? Well, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find a video on this channel that should be starting, but it hasn't. Oh, well, I'm there. Okay, here's what's going on. Congress doesn't have any idea. They have no clue about technology. Honestly, they're a bunch of idiots. Do you agree with me? If you think Congress is a bunch of idiots, give me thumbs ups. Give me some hearts. These guys are morons, okay? They ain't know nothing. And the only reason they're going to start getting involved in what's going on with Facebook, Google, YouTube, all the big social media companies is because all of a sudden some of those congressmen are going to start noticing that their ads on Facebook aren't getting seen. Their messages, the stories about them, the ones that are going to keep them in those cushy jobs, they're not going to be seen. And that's going to be a big problem. For those on the left, they are, excuse me, on the right. They don't want to see that. They want they want to keep their cushy jobs, right? Now, everybody's talking about, well, your data has been mined. Uh, there's been a, if you ever did one of those um, quizzes online, they probably got your data. That's not the story. You knew, everybody knew, when you signed up for Facebook, they were going to know some stuff about you. You knew what we all talked. That's not the story. The story, the real story, and what is happening here is the destruction of one side of the debate in the internet arena, on the social media companies. Because what is going to happen, and it's happened already, but is going to continue to happen, I'm telling you, this is what the problem is is that when conservative voices are being censored, like Diamond and Silk, they've been taken off Facebook. They were said they were too dangerous for the community. Okay, Diamond and Silk? When they're deemed too dangerous, when my reach on Facebook has gone down 75%, when other conservative companies have lost 75 to 85% of their traffic and yet liberal ones have gone up 25%. And what the Facebook and these other companies are using, well, they're going to use the New York Times as the barometer of what's true and what's not true. When you and I both know that the New York Times is one of the leaders of the liars. That's what's happening. And the guys in Congress are being fooled, you see. They're being told, oh, look over there, look, look, look over there, over that way, because it's all about data and privacy. That's not the story. Because when you wake up in the next, I mean, it's already happening. It's happening right before your eyes. When you can't hear any other side of the story, when it's just the left, the left wins. Socialism wins. Communism will win. 
Bernie Sanders will win. Friends of Hillary Clinton will win. And the losers will be you, me, and the rest of the American people. That is the story. And the congressman and the news media and and everybody else is being fooled. You, do you agree with me? Do you think I'm right? What do you, what do you think? Um, Alicia says, Trump is an amazing president. Tyler checking in. Jack is there. Ken is there. Kevin, hi. Alicia, yes. James says, no way in hell that Trump is toast. Mike is in Oklahoma City. Des Moines, Iowa. Hi. Suzanne, North Carolina. Colleen is there. Lorene is there. Uh, Gordon is in Ravina, Ohio. Suzanne is there. Jesse from Amarillo, Texas. Drew is in Houston. Scott is in Iona, Michigan. Robert is deplorable from South Carolina, Lexington. Bob is a deplorable from Rhode Island. Carol, proud deplorable from Texas. Carlos thinks Donald Trump will be impeached before September. Jeffrey, Mr. B, is the first in the nation deplorable from New Hampshire. Stephen is deplorable from Illinois, Southern Illinois. Um, Jessica says, uh, hello, Rusty, from your from the grossly pathetic state of Illinois. Ray's in Miami. Janice is there. Randy is there as a teacher in Oklahoma. Cindy, uh, Cindy is there. Jonathan, Edward, Linda, Colleen, everybody else. Thank you. We'll get some more of your take in just a second. Okay, I asked the question if Trump is toast. Because something happened not that long ago today that is a complete outrage. The lawyer, the personal lawyer of the President of the United States had his office raided today by the FBI. Now, there is not much more that I know of that is as sacred in our laws as attorney-client privilege. Now, it's interesting. I don't remember them raiding Barack Obama's law, uh, law offices or his lawyer's offices to find out about Fast and Furious or the birth certificate or uh, his uh, uh, supposed uh, gay dealings in Chicago before he was president. I mean, there's all kinds of stories about Obama's drug abuse. How about Obama in college? How about him in, I mean, there was all kinds of stories and nobody wanted to hear it. It was all a big joke. Anything about Donald Trump is fair game now. Is that fair? Is that right? I mean, he's president of the United States, so nothing has to be fair. But the president just a little while ago made a comment about the FBI raiding his lawyer's office, and this is what he had to say. Our southern border is a war zone. Eh, I'll come back to that in just a second. We got an ad there. Let's get rid of that ad because that congressperson, that congressperson sucks. Yucky. All right, let's bring up, here we go with with Trump. I find it very exciting, but you are going to do a fantastic job and I appreciate you joining us. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Thank you. No. No, I'm not. Why don't I just fire Mueller? Well, I think it's a disgrace what's going on. We'll see what happens. But I think it's really a sad situation when you look at what happened. And many people have said, you should fire him. Uh, Again, they found nothing. And in finding nothing, uh, that's a big statement. If you know the person who's in charge of the investigation, uh, you know all about that, uh, Deputy Rosenstein, Rod Rosenstein, he wrote the letter very critical of Comey. One of the things I said, I fired Comey. Well, I turned out to do the right thing because you look at all of the things that he's done and the lies, and you look at what's gone on at the FBI with the insurance policy and all of the things that happened. Turned out I did the right thing. Uh, But he signed, as you know, he also signed the FISA warrant. So Rod Rosenstein, who's in charge of this, signed a FISA warrant, and he also He also signed a letter that was essentially saying to fire James Comey. And he was right about that. He was absolutely right. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I think it's uh, disgraceful, and so does a lot of other people. This is a pure and simple witch hunt. Thank you very much. Thank you, please. I mean, without a doubt. Thank you. Thank you all very much. 
Thank you. Thank you. We're done. Thank you all. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. I've said what I've had to say, and it's good night. Now, um, you know, there are people that think that the Republican Party's in big trouble. Oh, do they think we're in big trouble? I'm going to get to that in a second because I don't think they're right, but I do want to hear what you have to say. Let's let's see what's on your mind today. Let's see here. Mark thinks, uh, let's see, Jack says, I'm fed up with Facebook pages I subscribe to disappearing off my feed um, in front of my eyes and replaced with liberal content that I don't subscribe to or have listed as unwanted content. I'm seeing that a lot. Too. You know, the other thing I'm seeing is like the same garbage I've seen for a week, like, you know, Easter stuff is popping up. Well, I sure had a great Easter. And, and why did it pop up today? It makes no sense to me. I mean, Easter's nice. I know yesterday was Orthodox Easter, but I don't need to see my cousin's Easter posting. You know, my cousin's got a, a new grandbaby, and she posted stuff, a couple, you know, three or four days ago. That keeps popping up. I've seen your ugly baby. It's enough. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's see. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Catherine says, we the people need to step up and fight in the end. Kara says, uh, let's see, Virgil is a deplorable from Arkansas. Eddie says, proud to be a deplorable from Kentucky. Mullard should be fired immediately. Kevin says, to stop this insanity, we need to have a red tide in the midterms. Get excited. Got to vote. I agree. We do have a problem, though. Problem is, um, Democrats are really excited, and I don't blame them. You know, they got smoked last time, and they have been brainwashed to hate Trump. Brainwashed? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the constant drumbeat of lies, innuendo, propaganda, these words that make people glaze over and think it's not true. The problem is, is it is true. You know, a lie told over and over and over again becomes the truth to people. That's a, that's a quote from that old Adolf Hitler who knew a little something about propaganda. Don says, negative ghost writers is the pattern of full patriots. No PMP impeachment, no leftism shall rule. Uh, Second Amendment shall rule the day. Betty is in Henderson, Nevada. Diane says, is the FBI now a communist regime? I don't know about what's going on today. I know that under Mueller and Comey and... You know, the past regimes, I wouldn't say they were communist regimes, but I will say that they certainly had been politicized and socialized and certainly were on the side of the Democrat slash socialist party, uh, much more so than the Republican Party. Can you disagree with that? Well, they were even and they were honest. Baloney. If they were even and honest, why did they not do a much more thorough investigation of Fast and Furious? What was that, Russ? That was a whole long time ago. They gave guns to drug cartels, American guns, and they were supposed to track them. And whoopsie, they didn't do a very good track of them. But we do know that they killed a bunch of Americans. And they killed a bunch of Mexican citizens. It was awful. Oh, I'm sure it was done with the best of intentions. Didn't work. And what they wanted to do, what they wanted was not so much to track the guns, but they wanted to see more negative gun activity happening in the United States so they could start a story to try to take guns out of your hands. That's not me making it up. This is not some fake news story. This is just the reality. And it's not my fault that the news media, and I hate to complain about the news media but because we, we know it's there, but it's not my fault that that story didn't get out. Benghazi's a good point. Thank you. Sandra says, we have Trump's back. 60 million will march on Washington. 
Roland says our president has done nothing but make the U.S. better. Well, see, that's not very good for Democrats, is it? They don't want to see the U.S. do better. They want the U.S. to tank under Trump, and so do the establishment Republicans. Because they don't want somebody that's not in their cool kids club doing what the hell they want to do. Doing the right thing, following the Constitution, following our laws, not just interpreting them the way they want to. That's not good for business for them. All right, let's take a little look uh, this weekend. Um, Fox News Sunday. Uh, not Fox News, the, uh, the Fox Channel, uh, the, the Fox uh, News Beat. And let's see what they had to say about uh, Republicans losing. Frank Luntz thinks they're going to lose. The issues that the media obsess on night and day, by and large, especially all the inside the Beltway stuff, don't matter as much to people's daily lives uh, when they look at presidential performance. Absolutely, but there's a, there's a caveat there. It's his own tweets that are causing so much of the trouble. If he would remove about a third of them, still communicate directly with his yeah. voters, because people like to see that. Right. They appreciate it. But he should be focused on the economy and on taxes. Not on so-called fake news? None of that stuff. You think that's a distraction? It doesn't help him. In fact, I'd argue it hurts him because it allows the media to focus on things that are less important. All right, so speaking of fake news, there's a new poll out from Monmouth University. Uh, Do the media report fake news regularly or occasionally? 77% say yes. This is not the graphic we're looking for. Hold off. Take that down, please. 77% 77% say yes. Of those, uh, those who do it on purpose to push an agenda, 42%. By accident or poor fact-checking, 26%. Those are pretty startling numbers. Has Donald Trump won his campaign to make everyone think that we are awash in fake news? In a word, yes. He has. And the impact of that, I think, is significant because how do you hold a president accountable? How do you hold the Congress? How do you hold the Democrats accountable if nobody trusts anyone now? The fact is we get our news to affirm rather than inform. And that's one of the greatest threats to the health of this democracy. Okay, way, I, I'll agree with that. Now, by the way, Frank Luntz, we don't have a democracy. We have a republic. However, um, the problem is, is that the news media hasn't done their job. They're the ones that have done a lousy job. They're the ones that have lied to the American people. They're the ones that uh, tell the phony stories. You know, when you got uh, Mika and Morning Joe out there just making up crap. Um, You know, what do you expect the American people to do? I think the American people are doing the right thing by saying, no, we're not not playing your game anymore. We're done. And thankfully, Donald Trump has done the right thing. Good for him. By the way, I went and uh, did my test for my concealed weapons permit over the weekend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm packing. I'm a lawfully, constitutional, Constitutionally packing citizen. Glad I took the class, though. I do think everybody should have to take should take a class. Shouldn't have to take a class. I think everybody should want to take go take a class. If you haven't taken a gun class, you should. I think it's uh, it's good to know. There was a couple people in my class because we had to go out and shoot a couple times, and it's like. Yeah, maybe maybe you don't need one quite yet. Maybe you need to go practice just a little bit longer. Just just a couple more practice shots. Get good first before you go out there and uh, start packing. You know what the most interesting part of it, though, was? And this is the stuff the left doesn't acknowledge. I mean, knowing about guns was great. Um, What was great? What was interesting about it was the in, the instructor was a 20-year police vet, and he's actually the police union rep or something. One of these guys, you know, I've, I've, he's seen it all. And he was given scenarios of, you know, you don't just walk out, you see something, or you get mad at somebody, all right, get out of the way, I'm guy, guy, got the gun, here you go, Get a, you better get away, I'm going to... Pop a cap in your ass. You know, that that's that's not what carrying a weapon is about. And he gives some good examples. One night, you hear some noise in the in the woods, right by the house. Go get your gun. And you see some guy 
sexually assaulting a woman. Pow! You don't say anything. Just pow! And you kill the guy. And later you find out that Mr. and Mrs. Smith there uh, trying to spice things up for the 16th wedding anniversary and, well, you just ruined their night. And stories like that. You know, when, you know, it's more about diffusing the situation. And there are certain law. every state has different laws. Arizona has some of the most um, constitutionally friendly laws. Like You don't even have to take a class to be able to open carry in Arizona. I didn't know that. Um, but they've still written laws that if you pull out your gun and you just shoot somebody, it's more than just you're having a bad day or that guy ticked you off. I mean, it's you don't want to pull that trigger. I mean, even in bad situations, you don't want to pull that trigger. Because the minute you pull that trigger, your life changes. Forever, maybe. Even if you're doing the right thing. So it's uh, something to think about. Anyway. Nancy says most people just want to protect their home. That's that's good. I think you should. As a matter of fact, the next thing I'm taking my my daughter to have some classes. She wants to do it, which shocked me. I didn't think my daughter would want to take gun class because noises really bother her. So I thought, eh, she's not going to want to do it. Dad, can I take a class too? Wow, okay. Good for you. Um, CBS is freaking out over Charlie Rose expose. That's, that's the story. Arizona and uh, Texas... Troops are being deployed to the Mexican border. Good. Corey says you shouldn't even pull your gun unless you're ready to pull the trigger because pulling gets your gun can get you in just as much trouble uh, as it is. Linda says, excuse me, I thought that hollow point ammo was illegal, at least in some states. Anyone know? Could be in some states. It's not in Arizona. He actually suggested that, yes, you want the hollow point. Because not only does it do more damage when it hits, but you don't want that bullet going through this guy and then going out through the back and hitting somebody else. And so the hollow point stops and does more damage and hopefully will have more stopping power for the guy you shoot. Again, I'm not a gun expert. That's just kind of stuff that uh, that he taught me. Um. Derek says it's not illegal in Utah. Sita says, Rusty, it all comes down to with freedom comes responsibility. Yeah, that's true. Yesterday was Chris Kyle's birthday. I did not know that. Sean took a gun class. It was called the Police Academy. (laughs) Mike says, welcome to the, to, uh, the I Can Protect Myself and My Family Club. Yes. Diane took a class called Women on Target with the NRA from 4.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. or 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. It was very educational about all types of handguns, rifles, and shotguns. He didn't like um, revolvers. Said that revolvers were kind of not as accurate and not as easy to use. I thought that was interesting. Let's see, any other uh, video? Raid Rocks DC. You know, again, here's what I don't get. You know, um, going back to the Trump having his real constitutional rights um, destroyed, really. When, when his, you know, the attorney-client privilege is basically being revoked about Stormy Daniels, but it's not about Stormy Daniels. I mean, the Mueller thing was supposed to be about Russia, I thought. Anyway, uh, story. Furious President Trump blasted the FBI's seizure of his personal lawyer's records, calling the move a witch hunt. He claimed that the news was responsible for the drop in the stock market from a daily high of 24,373 to 23,932, even though the news of the Fed's raid broke about 4 p.m. just as the market was closing. It's a disgraceful situation. It's a total witch hunt. 
It's an attack on our country, what we all stand for. He's, he's right. This one really bothers me. What's this? A topless protester at the Cosby trial identified as a Cosby show actress? What? Day one of Bill Cosby's retrial got off to a headline-grabbing start when a topless protester jumped the barricade and made it within a few feet of the accused. The topless woman, identified as 39-year-old Nicole Rochelle of Little Falls, New Jersey, had a Women's Lives Matter written in red on her torso with the names of more than 50 Cosby's other accusers. She had a number of appearances during seasons six through eight as a character uh, appeared in the episodes of Rudy's Walk on the Wild Side. Okay. I certainly don't want to see uh, Bill Cosby uh, get away with it, that's for sure. But I guess the question is, is how many times are you going to go after this old guy? And does it do much good anymore? I don't know. I don't know. Tommy says, from Egypt, a friend said we just bombed Syria. When you're going after a billionaire for shut-up money, why just a measly hundred thirty grand? Oh, that's a good, good question. Um, I don't know if we bombed Syria. If, that, if that's the case, that's, uh, Tommy, that's interesting. We don't certainly normally put out that kind of information right away. Uh, if you are correct, then good for you. Stormy Daniels is now giving an, a tell-all, is posing nude for Penthouse. What? Stormy Daniels is going to pose naked for a magazine? You got what? I can't believe it. I'm totally shocked. Give me a break. April thinks it is an attempt to overthrow a duly elected president. Yes, Kara says that the woman that ran naked through the uh, courthouse was an extra uh, one of Chudy's, Rudy's childhood friends on the show. Jessica said, did we just bomb Syria? I don't know. I don't know. Let me f- see uh, if I can find anything else. Let's see if uh, foxnews.com has it. Breaking news. Homeless taunt Seattle, embalming death, source of serious strike. I'm seeing nothing yet. Doesn't mean it's not out there, but I don't see anything quite yet. Hello, Rusty, says Janet. Hope you're doing well. Watching from Leesville, Louisiana. Janet, thank you. Jack says, if there is any war, it's going to be against the city cops and the feds. It's our responders' ability to train our own families. Corey says, Israel did something. They warned the USA today. Janice says, no bomb. Sean says, nothing on Fox yet if we did. I looked at Fox. Um, Let me check fake news. CNN, the joke network. Maybe they got something fast. I don't know. Trump calls raid on his lawyer an attack on our country. No, I don't see it. The only thing I see is, uh, you know, Mark Zuckerberg going to Capitol Hill, trying to zuck everybody and fool them. And look, look at the joke. He's wearing a suit. That's not something you'll see very often. The zuck. See, he normally wears goofy clothes. Well, it was a breach of trust. By the way, I asked for, they, they said, uh, you know, if you want to know who, what information they have on you, just send us a, a note and we'll, uh, we'll do it. I sent the note two weeks ago. I've got nothing back. Um, Terry's there. Terry's a friend of mine and uh, runs Liberty One TV. Terry, somebody's reporting on here that they heard that there was a bombing in Syria. Have you seen anything of that? I can't. I don't see anything. I just want to make sure that we are accurate here, and um, we're going to look out and uh, and see that. By the way, do me a favor. We now know that not only is Facebook stealing your data, not only do they not have control of your data, but they are using those tactics to lie, steal, and cheat our federal government and make it so that 
the news will not be fair and balanced as it is not right now and is going to get worse and worse and worse. And that's why I implore you to download the Hear Me Out app. It's very easy to find. Works on Apple and Android. You download the app and then follow me if you would. My name is Rusty Humphreys. You can find me on hashtag Rusty or Rusty Humphreys without a space because I messed that up when I signed up. And then you can also leave messages. It's like Twitter, but with audio. It's the social media company that uses audio. And you have 41 seconds to say your piece, and that's a long time to get messages out. We cannot trust Facebook or Twitter or Google or YouTube. They have proven to be untrustworthy. We need to have another source. And that source is Hear Me Out. I've been using them now for months. I've never once been censored. I know the men and women that run that company. And they want a free and open exchange of ideas. And they want you to entertain and have fun and sing songs and and tell stories or get the news out or let people know what it is that's on your mind. So please, follow me. Follow me on the Hear Me Out app, okay? We are losing all of you, says Nancy. Breaking news, according to Kara. Mueller investigation in investigating Ukrainians, $150,000 payment for a Trump appearance. Is that true? I don't know. And again, I mean, is that bad? I mean, could Trump have made an appearance years ago? I mean, I don't know what it is. I do know that, I mean, Clinton made appearances uh, to Russia made a lot more money than that. What about Infinity SN launching in April? Feedback, please, says Joan. I've heard a little bit about that, but I don't know enough at all to comment. Uh, not that I'm trying to hide anything. I just don't know enough. I've, I've heard a couple of friends of mine that have been talking to some people with that Infinity SN, but I don't know anything about it, to be honest. Yes, hear me out. Thank you, Molly. Mark says, uh, uh, can't trust a lot of things anymore, family included. Kara says they are desperately grasping at saw straws for something, anything they can get him out for, and they keep on coming up empty. It's very true. Very true. Sean says, if Stormy becomes a contributor for CNN, it's going to do, go to the entertainment section or the, for the financial section. That's funny. Um... Tamara says, nope, not watching CNN. Don't have cable. Just did a search about Russian blaming Israel for Syria bombing. How's the language on that other site? I don't know. Anything out of Mark out of Al Franken? Nope. All right, my friends. Jessica says, Stormy Daniels was in town this past weekend. Husband was wanting to go, but I said I'd punch her in the face. <laughs> All right, my friend, I, I appreciate you so much. And as I've told you, if you're just joining me, uh, I'm in and out for the next couple of weeks. I'm going to try to be here on time tomorrow again, but I'm working on a documentary, a movie, and um, I'm just doing some filming right now, so it's taking a little bit more time than I thought it would. Okay, Bill Gregory says, fire Jeff Sessions. Kayla says, thank you. The worst people in both parties are the uneducated ones. That's true. All I want to do is get information out, honest information. I'll tell you what I think, and I want to hear what you think, whether you agree with me or disagree. If you disagree, that's great. Just don't be a jerk about it. Yeah, you're fat. Okay, well, that didn't do anything. How about I disagree with you because of X? And that's fine. All right? I'm here every night normally. 9 p.m. in the east and 6 p.m. in the west. Have you? Oh, by the way, as summer's getting closer and things are still getting more and more nasty, have you got my new book? It's been out, oh, 
six, seven months, seven ways to win political debates with your liberal family and friends and still keep them as family and friends. This is not a huge book. It's less than 100 pages, and it's just a few dollars. But it will help you in that most dangerous of situation, the social situation with your family and friends. And if you've got some liberals, it's going to give you some tips and some ideas on how to deal with them a little bit better on so that you still can hang out with them, okay? It's available on Amazon. It's in uh, paperback or Kindle or Audible, the audio version. That's the one I like the best, although I make the least amount of money with that. Yeah, Jessica, you can get it at Amazon, all right? That's it, my friend. I sure appreciate you. May God bless you, and may God bless America. My name is Rusty Humphrey. Oh, don't forget the podcast, too. And we're going to do in the podcast, uh, we review everything with me and Orson Scott Card. That's it. May God bless you. May God bless America. I'm Rusty Humphreys, and this is the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion.